I look amazing. Um, I've got a face mask on, as you can tell. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to take a breather, take a step back, because I'm getting so stressed at the moment. My patience is at zero. Um, I'm so I'm kind of getting snappy at ED. I'm getting. I mean, I'm always snappy at Dexter, and I'm just feeling pretty rubbish. So I'm going to try and take a. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Um, I've got a face mask on to try and help my skin a little bit to help my self esteem. And I'm just going to take things slowly. I've got a lot to do today because I've been reorganising the last few days and everyone's a bit of a mess. So it should help me in the long run, though. So I just need to kind of crack on with things. Um, it's difficult when energy is low and pain is high. So, yeah, good news. Uh, my dad got home. He came home from hospital Friday afternoon. Um, he's doing OK. He's... You know he's recovering at home so he's uh, very weak but he's getting stronger every day and we saw him yesterday through the window which was so nice um ed i could see she was confused by what was going on because we've kind of seen my mum through the window a few times but it was just weird for her to see nana, see nana and gamma right there but she wasn't allowed to to touch them to cuddle them i've been feeling really really rough Thank you. Increasingly all week, to be honest, in terms of image stuff and dysmorphia stuff. Um, I filmed a few videos that I'm in the middle of editing and the dysmorphia one is one that I need to film. Um, I'm putting it off because at the moment I'm just... Uh, I mean, the video I filmed the other day, which was staying mentally healthy in lockdown, Honestly, it's all over the place. Um, I think I've edited edited, uh, edited it so that it's watchable and it's going to be of some use. But it's really, really, really hard filming with a two-year-old running around, having to keep an eye on her, having to keep her amused. With Dexter, random barking fits. And with my brain. Um, yeah, look, it does that. And you can look in the mirror. You don't want to look in the mirror. Shall I close it for you then? There you go. Um, one of the side effects that I had when I suffered the neurological damage from my eating disorder, like all those years ago, I had um, an MRI and they discovered... It was called cerebellar atrophy. So part of my brain had shrunk, had wasted away. And that part of the brain affects my memory and my kind of on-the-spot thinking. I think I think that's what we discovered and so um, it's something that I struggle with I kind of get if I'm if I'm just talking 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 free-flowing then it's fine but also if I'm then it, it tends to be fine but if I kind of have something that I need to focus on and think about I find it really really difficult that which is why making videos is, is a bit difficult at the moment like sit down talking videos um it's also because if you're if you know that you have a problem with something, then you kind of start to get really anxious about it. Like and you're like, well, I need to think of what I'm saying and say something important and say something useful. And the more pressure you put on yourself, the it doesn't do anything. Um, so, yeah, um, and that video of all the ones that I filmed is probably the most important to me because it's something that I'm really struggling with at the moment. And I think it's. It's the one that's not about lockdown as well. It's the one that is going to stand. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. It's the one that's going to stand the test of time, I guess. So in a year's time, a video about lockdown and staying mentally healthy in lockdown isn't going to be relevant. Whereas, thank you, baby. Well, we hope it's not going to be relevant. Whereas a video talking about my battle with dysmorphia um, is. So, yeah, I'm going to take my time to make sure that I've written in legible writing uh, notes for it properly um, and all of that. So yeah, I need to, I'm, I'm literally, I'm procrastinating really badly now. I need to start sorting all this, like look all this shit. I need to sort all of that out. My bedroom is a mess. My sheet doesn't stay on because I've not found a sheet that's deep enough for my mattress, which is really annoying. Yeah? 
Um, so yeah, my I need to start setting my three goals again today. I've got more than three. Okay, so my three goals, my practical goal is to finish organising the stuff that I was reorganising yesterday, I finished tidying the stuff that I was reorganising. My personal goal, get outside to try, try and get outside because that will help wear Edie out, getting some fresh air and having a run around. Um, and we didn't get out yesterday, apart from, like not outside, we went out like in the car and stuff. We didn't really get outside in the woods, did we? You want to go to the woods? Yeah, do you want to go to the woods? Do you want to go to the woods, Edie? What's your mummy's creative? Uh, You're beautiful. Oh. <sighs> There's a few songs that I'm working on that I really like at the moment, so I'm happy doing anything. I'll speak to you later and let you know how I'm doing with my goals. You having fun, Edie? I feel like I want to do something interesting today, but like, what can I do? What can I do? I didn't get to do any exercise this morning. I did a little bit of stretching, but honestly, I am in a lot of pain with my back. Well, I say my back, but it's like this bit here and then down into my hip. Ow, that's my funny bow. Wow, life is shitting on me today. I want to know how you are all doing. I wanna know what people are doing in isolation to literally keep themselves from dying of boredom. And you know, I'm busy all the time, but I'm also bored because it's the same stuff. It's tidying up and tidying up and changing nappies and tidying up. So yeah, anyone got any ideas? Like something low energy, works with a toddler, that actually will spark something, you know? I don't know. Edie. Edie. Ah. That one keeps barking, Edie. Is that nice? No, 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 you don't go underneath. I know you love them. So we have just been to see the ducks. Sorry, I look awful because I've got no makeup on today. I feel so, I know, does mommy look beautiful? No. No. Um, oh my God, my head, my head. I've had a headache now for three weeks um it started like just before Edie's birthday so it's like three weeks and it's it's not all day every day but it's like most of the day I get like a few hours of reprise reprieve whatever the word is um it's just draining my hips and back are really hurting as well like really bad um so we are going to go home and I'm going to give Edie lunch and then I'm going to put her to bed and I'm going to go to bed. I normally like to try and stay awake when she has her nap. But if my head still feels like this and I need to um, do, I use a migraine guided meditation thing and that helps amazingly. Um, so I'll do that. Jesus Christ. It's like, it's like hurting around my ear as well. And like my neck kept like crack, like making like crickly noises, da, da, da. like crackly noise, or like popping. Even though it wasn't like, it didn't feel like it was my bones. It feels like you know when you eat like popping candy. I hate the stuff. I haven't had it like in about thirty years. But you know you get like that. And you can hear the popping, feel the popping like in your head. That's what it's like. Um, yeah, the one bonus of when I'm not breastfeeding anymore is I can have my medication again and I can have the Botox because that helps my headaches and my migraines dramatically. I look horrendous. I am going to literally lose my mind editing this, but I didn't want to wear makeup today.
wow that's a funny bike um so yeah we've had a lovely lovely time yeah you've taken your shoes and socks. did you like seeing the ducks were they really cute little, yeah the little tiny ducks did you see the babies Bubbers. yeah right i'm gonna leave it here for today sorry it's been a bit boring i'll see you another day